Hi guys, it's Pavel with a quick video just with some information really. I wouldn't even say it's a review or anything like that. Uh, it's about a product called 32 Lives from Sound Radix. Um, now, I don't know if you know, I'm, I'm a, a Logic user, I've been a Logic user for quite a long time and the latest version Logic Pro X has dropped 32-bit support. It only runs 64-bit plugins, which I see the point and I see where they're going you know it, it's the future but for the time being there is just still a few plugins um, and stuff like that 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 are still only 32 bit one of the main ones for me is Salinth 1 it's a really cool synth and I know the developers are working on a 64 bit for Mac um, but as yet it's not out I've hunt it's been my only reason from not moving from Logic 9 over to Logic Pro X because Logic Pro X is really nice but I can't run this and I've used Silinth in a lot of projects and I've got a lot of patches for it so I still want to use it so I stuck with Logic Pro 9. However, I've just tried this out, I uh, found out about this a while back, I demoed it and I've now bought it. Um, it's $99 um, and with that you get three um, activations on three different systems so you know three laptops or three desktops or blah blah blah. It works with um, uh, Logic Pro X, Main Stage, Final Cut Pro, Garage Brand, Live 9, any 64-bit platform you can use this with to run 32-bit plugins in. I've used some um, solutions before, I believe JBridge and a few other solutions, and although ultimately they worked, they were, they were clunky and they were a real pain in the ass to, to use. I couldn't believe how simple this is basically it's the case of installing it you run the 32-bit lives application once it comes up with your plugins here of the plugins that are 32-bit only you basically select them both or however many there are or however many you want and you hit the resurrect button and that's it and when you click OK it wraps them cleverly with technology that is far above my head and makes them 64 bits. So when you start your application, in my case Logic Pro X, and you create a new project and you want to insert, for example, in my case Silinth 1, it shows up in the normal list like a 64 bit plugin. There's no separate windows, there's no clicking here, clicking there, and having that open at the same time. It just opens, it plays. <laughs> And it's just faultless. I mean, it's it's the, it's by far the simplest solution to run 64-bit, uh, sorry, 32 32-bit plugins inside a 64-bit environment. It's really really cool. Um, so I'm kind of moving away from Logic 9 now. I'm going to be using Logic Pro X kind of as my main system. So I thought I'd just give a heads up to anybody that um, hasn't or doesn't know about this as yet. Uh, I'm not getting paid from. Uh, sound radix so i've got no affiliation with them at all i uh, get no money for selling or anything like that i just wanted to uh, let you guys know that this is a really really cool product uh, it really works really works well and it's a great solution for people who are in my predicament so i'll leave a link below to their website so uh, give it a demo and if you like it go and give it a purchase cheers guys i'll see you in the next video